Hey, how's everyone doing today? So, uh, I wanted to do a follow-up. We did our little white trash uh, ramen the other day. I want to do a little mac and cheese. So, this is a little bit elevated though. So, normally like a white trash, I would be doing some Kraft macaroni and cheese. I want to elevate it a little bit for you. Today, if you're just doing like your little yellow powder mac and cheese, we're going to show you how to do something a little nicer today, right? So, I want to start. I got some boiling water here. Uh, anytime I cook some pasta, we're going to do some fresh pasta. I use... Uh, a little bit of kosher salt in the water, actually quite a bit. I was taught that you wanna make that taste like the ocean, all right? So we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna put a little bit of pasta in here. I'm not using macaroni today. I've just got some, some large shells. They're actually pretty small. I don't know why it says large on there, but we'll get those going. Those are gonna take, I don't know, eight to 10 minutes. Uh, I've got a bunch of stuff I'm gonna throw in here, but uh, you know, I like to throw in some leftovers, some random things that we're using around the house to just kind of elevate your food. But I'm gonna start, I've got a couple little pieces of bacon here. Gotta start with bacon. All right, so I've got my, my pan starting to get a little bit hot here. I'm just gonna throw the bacon right in there. A lot of times what I'll do is just start with a little bit of oil. So um, even though the bacon's gonna let out a bunch of fat, I wanna just start with like a little tablespoon of oil, just to kind of get that fat going a little bit. Stir it around in there. We're gonna to start to get it a little bit crispy, right? I'm gonna add some garlic. Garlic is great. I mean, you can't you can't go wrong, right? So you're gonna peel off. Oh, you know what? I was gonna say one, two. I'm kind of immune to garlic. I've been cooking with garlic for so long. It takes a lot of garlic for me to, to taste it, right? So you got a couple cloves of garlic, right? I'm gonna show you a little trick to peel them. Just smash them first, right? With the back side of the knife, okay? Smash them just like that. Watch how easily that peel just comes right off. Boom, right? So we've got a couple big cloves of garlic here. Our uh, bacon is going. I'm gonna give the pasta a quick stir. Make sure it's not st sticking in the bottom of the pan or anything like that. Make sure this uh, bacon is getting going. Yeah, it's starting to let out a little bit of fat there. It's starting to look good, so. All right, we're gonna now uh, chop the garlic. So a lot of people use a garlic press. I'm not down with the garlic press. It, it smushes all the juice out of it. And if you're using a garlic press, just throw that shit in the garbage, man. It's just, it's just no good, all right? Sometimes I'll use the back side of the knife. So I got the sharp side, you would slice it. This, I'm actually just kind of crushing it. Now this almost achieves the same thing that you do with a garlic press, except it doesn't smush all the, uh, all the nice, good garlic juice out of there. So you're not really slicing it, but it gets it, you get nice little crushed garlic out of there, right? So, look at that. Yeah, so nice, nice crushed garlic, just real easy. Uh, so now we're gonna wait. I'm gonna put that right here. We wanna make sure this bacon is just a little bit uh, crispy. We wanna render the fat out of there before we start adding the rest of the stuff to the pan. So uh, my pasta's probably got seven or eight more minutes. Um, we're gonna wait for this to crisp a little. Our bacon is getting a little bit crispy here. So I'm gonna just throw my garlic in. You wanna get this garlic nice and toasted. The key here is that uh, you gotta get it uh, nice and a little toasty and a little bit nutty. If you end up with raw garlic in your pasta or whatever you're doing, it's gonna have that little bit of spiciness to it and it kind of overwhelms a lot of the other flavors. But if you, toast, if you toast it nice and get it just a little bit softened up, it gets nutty and it loses that uh, spiciness to it. So my garlic is getting uh, starting to get a little bit toasty here. I'm just gonna let it go for just another second, but the, the, the bacon is getting nice and crispy. Heavy cream. Look, so, you know, you know with the powdered stuff, you throw in a little bit of milk, a little bit of butter. Well, the cream's got enough fat in it. Uh, I highly encourage using the cream. You don't wanna switch it out for milk. It's not like the powdered stuff. So once we get that garlic a little bit crispy there, we're gonna just go ahead and add our cream. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it's just going to boil up. Well, I'm just doing this basically for one, just for myself today. I got nobody else to cook for. So, ooh, yeah, look at it bubbling up there. Uh, so it's just, it's boiling right off the bat pretty much. So I've got some shredded cheese here, right? You can use whatever you want. I've just got like a uh, shredded cheddar jack blend that I had left over in the fridge. Uh, you can throw whatever you want in there. You can throw a little Swiss, you can throw a little blue cheese, some Fontina, Gruyere, whatever you want. But once it's, once it's boiling, you got that. You got to throw the cheese in when it's boiling. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and add all that cheese in there. 
Okay, here's where I'm really gonna switch it up. So we're gonna start simmering that in. I'm gonna uh, turn this down just a little bit. So I've had it on high, so uh, it's gonna start melting that cheese. It looks like I might need a little more cream, but hey, check this out. I got some, some uh, leftovers from the other day. My uh, kids were here with me. We went out, we had some pizza, some chicken wings. Look what I got here. I got some barbecue chicken wings. Oh, can you believe it? Look, get all over my hands, just getting them nice and messy. What is better, barbecue chicken in your mac and cheese? Unbelievable, look. So I'm just gonna just kind of pull the meat off the bone a little bit here. And uh, hold on, I gotta get some more um, <clears throat> cream in here. We're starting to break a little bit. So I'm just gonna get a little bit more cream. I'm gonna set it aside. I checked my pasta just a second ago. It's still a little bit al dente. Um, <clears throat> Typically, I want my pasta to be al dente, but with mac and cheese, I tend to cook it almost all the way. So I'm not gonna let it be too uh, <clears throat> too hard. I want it to be kind of soft, uh, comfort food, right? Um, all right, so we're picking the meat off of this. A little bit difficult with the uh, chicken wings to get the meat out of here when they're cold, but uh, <clears throat> I'll tell you what. Just this little bit of barbecue chicken is gonna sweeten up the mac and cheese a little bit. It's gonna be great with the bacon. All right, so I washed my hands really quick. I'm gonna just kind of dice this barbecue chicken up. I'm gonna throw it right into the mac and cheese. Oh yeah, simmer that a little bit in there. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna even add a little, grab a little whisk. Kind of make sure that that cheese is nice and melted in there. Ooh yeah, look at that. Even a little bit more cream. Sometimes, you know, just do it. There we go. I'm going to turn it back up a little bit. Just kind of get it nice and creamy. All right. Check my pasta. Yep. Still pretty. All right. So my pasta is just about done now. I took off a couple minutes now. I, I'm going to just, I've got a colander over here. We're just going to drain it real quick. All right. I'm going to bring that back. Check it out. All right. So right into the pasta. Okay. I'm going to turn this off so I don't melt this. I can just throw this right in the sink, get it out of my way. Okay. Stepped out of the shot there for a second. Just throw it right back on the heat, right? Just going to start tossing it. Now, I don't need this whisk anymore. You can just use your spoon, kind of stir it around. If you can't do the fancy little flip, just do that. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay. Beautiful mac and cheese. So, um... Sometimes I like to try to feel like I'm being a little bit healthy, uh, even if I'm cooking something that's absolutely not the best thing for me at all. So look, get a little bit of spinach. Just gonna wilt a little bit of spinach right in there at the end. It's gonna cook, it's gonna wilt down. It's gonna make me feel like I'm actually getting some vegetables and uh, not just eating a bunch of cheese and cream uh, and bacon. And of course, and one last thing here that we're gonna, we're gonna top it with, just because I always like to do this, but yeah, and I've got my Frosty the Snowman bowl. It's, it's absolutely essential that you have a cool bowl to eat your food out of. If you don't, I'm telling you, just go to the thrift store. They got all sorts of cool stuff. You get a little, little cool bowl, it's going to elevate your eating experience. Huge, all right? So look at that. Oh, yeah, I've got that spinach is just melted right in there. I'm going to toss it in there. I got my barbecue chicken, a little bit of uh, bacon in there, some garlic, nice and toasty. Here, right at the end, Frenches. You can always make your own, but look, topping your mac and cheese with this little bit of crispy onions, beautiful. Yeah, look at that. So we're gonna go ahead and just chow down for you right here, right? All right, it might, it's not a Monday night anymore. It's a Tuesday morning, actually, I'm doing this video. I'm on my way to work. We're opening restaurants back up today. Uh, so I'm gonna be busting it out, but cheers. <laughs> Enjoy your mac and cheese. Throw whatever you want in there, it'll be awesome. You guys have a great day. Mmm, unbelievable. So good. Ah, oh, the garlic, bacon, fried onions right on top. Awesome, man. You guys have a great day.